Did that thumbnail and title say that I was going to play every single savings challenge that I have? I think so. Yes, it did. And not only am I going to play every savings challenge that I have, but I'm also going to then play it the low budget way so everybody can see that no matter what your income is and no matter what your savings goals are, you can use savings challenges to get there. Let's get started. And here they all are. These are all from my binder. These are from my two smaller binders. Those are all of my scratch offs. And we're going to use the Busy Bee cards. Everything. I am so excited. Let's get into it. And yes, we will still be playing Hello Honey today. And today's version is called Legends of the Flip. So we will get back to this later in the video. And this is what we're going to be playing with today. I have $847 to stuff with you guys today. You're going to have to trust me on the count. We've got a lot to get into. We are going to get right into it today with the Save 10 Journey. I'm going to go ahead and start over with this game and put 10 $1 bills away. And we're going to go ahead and mark here that my $1 bills have been completed. Now, if you're a low budgeter and you are dying to do the Save 10 Journey, this is what I would suggest. I would say to do one $100 bill, two, three, four, five, and six of the $1 bills. In the end, you would still have $331 saved up and you would get to play Save 10 Journey. Next is going to be, let's finish out Trick or Treat. And what I'm gonna do is, since I'm almost done with this game, I'm going to add up all of the open symbols and save that amount. Let's add these up. Okay, add it up, I owe the game $57. And I also never landed on the witch hat, which says a witch cast a spell on you, take some of your candy, pay $5. So we're going to add the five. So I actually owe 62 total for trick or treat, and I will have this game completed. 62. Okay, so this is a completed game. Let's add up how much I've saved all together. Okay, with Trick or Treat, I have saved 120, 40, 60, 61, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 166 dollars. And any savings challenge that I complete goes into my month ahead envelope. So we're going to put this in here and see if we finish any more today during our video. So the easiest way for a low budgeter to play this game would be to just change the amounts up here that each symbol is worth. You could do the candy corns at 25 cents, the gumballs at 50 cents, and your chocolates at $1 a piece. Just change your amounts at the top, and now you can play trick or treat. Next is Wordle. This one I have not played very much. I've only played two times since the last time I checked in. So I owe Wordle $9 today. nine and let's see what we're up to wordle now has 20 25 30 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 37 dollars and the low budget way to play wordle is super easy because we already have in the description below a freebie where instead of them being a dollar a piece each letter is worth 25 cents a piece so instead of owing nine today, I would have owed $2.25 as a low budgeter playing Wordle. Okay, so on the first three games that we've played so far, I did the math. $7.75 would be what I would owe a trick or treat as a low budgeter. $2.25 would have been what I owed Wordle. So I'm up to 10. And if I went ahead and started with my $1 bills and saved six of them, I would owe $6 to save 10 journey. So I'm up to $16. 
and we're going to take this 16 and anything that I save as a low budgeter today, I'm going to put into my month ahead envelope. So we'll put the month ahead envelope right there with the $16 ready to go. And next we'll do honeypot savings. This one is each symbol is worth $10 and at the end of the year you will have 520. I'm going to go ahead and roll my dice. Six. So that means I have to save $60. 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. Let's see what we're up to. And I'm not gonna do any coloring on camera because that would make this video way too long. So we're gonna skip coloring today. I will mark them off so I know what I need to color in. So honey pot savings is up to 50, 70, 80, 90, 100, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 81, 82, 83, 183 dollars. And as a low budgeter, this game is supposed to last an entire year. So you could color a symbol and make it worth $5, just cut it in half. And at the end of the year, you would still have $260. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a five in for Honey Pot Savings. Let's do a couple scratch offs and let's see what we get. Okay, I've got the witch hat and that is save any amount. I'm gonna go ahead and save 20. And let's keep going. And seven, let's move on to this one. $2, two, $1. And let's finish this one out. And we have $4. Four. So these two happen to be a perfect example of a higher budget scratch off and a lower budget scratch off. In our Etsy shop, April has it to where you can choose how much you want to have. So they are for every budget. Let's scratch off. We got a 10 on this one. Now, if you were a low budgeter, what you could do is scratch it off and then write on the back what you're gonna owe and put that in next week so you're prepared and it's not a surprise. But I'm gonna go ahead and put the 10 up there and let's see how much I've got going into my scratch offs. I have 10, 20, 25, 30. 40, 41, 42, 43. And this is my scratch off envelope, so I put that away. Okay, all of these games and all of these mini games are all the same basic idea. You have a symbol, it's worth a certain amount, and you color it in and save that amount. Just like I did earlier on these two games, all you have to do is change the amounts to fit your budget, so let's do that. Okay, I'm gonna start with Pumpkin Patch and play my way. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I'm gonna make each pumpkin worth $5. One, two, three, four, five. One, two. Okay, this one says you won first place in a pumpkin carving contest, save $10. So he's worth 10. So I'm up to 10, 15, $20. One, two, 25, 30, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. So I owe $60 to Pumpkin Patch today. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. And I owe it $1 from a couple weeks ago. So 61. And I have five. So I have 66 total in Pumpkin Patch. 
And for our lower budgeters, you could make these worth 25, 50 cents and a dollar. You could do one, two, three dollars, whatever you want to do. I'm going to go ahead and make them one, two and three dollars. And today I'm going to go in the middle and make each pumpkin worth two for our low budgeters. Okay, so I got three of those, so that would be worth $6. Six. Okay, we've played six games. You didn't think I forgot about these Busy Bee cards, did you? We all need to see how a low budgeter could play with their Busy Bee cards. So let's mix these up a little bit. And let's pull six cards for me. One, two, three, four five, six, and we'll start with the honey money, three, four, five, six. This one is buzzworthy. I would save based on the last thing I watched. The last thing I watched was YouTube and that's worth $5. This one is be spending, save based on the category of your last purchase. To be perfectly honest, the last thing I bought was a bottle of wine. So I would say that is something else and that is worth $1. And the last one is save for immersion bees. Roll two dice, put the higher number in my savings and the lower into a spend budget. Okay, so this one, let's see. I rolled a six and a two, so that's eight dollars, but I'm just gonna put it all into the same pile. Five, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. I have twenty dollars from my busy bee cards. I'm gonna put this to the side. Okay, now we're gonna do this for a low budgeter. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so we've got Honey Money for nine so far. We've got a Wildflower where you pick whatever you want. I'm gonna say $1, so we're up to 10. This one is a Moody Bee, save based on your mood. And I would say I've been a little lazy today. That is another dollar. Honey Money for $1. Between the lines, this is based on the last book that I have been reading. Let me see. Okay, here it has cookbook or self-help is a dollar. I have been looking at a Joanna Gaines holiday magazine that I bought the other day. Some really good recipes in there. So that's worth a dollar. Okay, so as a low budgeter, I'm up to $13. There's a few different ways you could do this. You could add the one and the three together and do four, which is what I think I'm gonna do today. four. You could take the first number and save one. You could take the second number and save three. You've got quite a bit of options when you add up the Busy Bee cards. Okay, so these are the mini games that I just showed you. Each symbol is worth a different amount. I'm going to roll the dice to tell me how many on each one that I'm going to color. So let's start with till the cows come home. Five. 10 per cow, five per symbol. All my cows are colored in. So I'm gonna save five, 10, 15, 20, $25. $25. Next is saving is my jam. Just one. I'm gonna roll again. Another one. Okay, it's meant to be just, just one. So we're gonna color two. And on this one, We'll go ahead and do $5 for each jam, so that'll be 10. Let's move on to Heart Made of Honey. Each one is worth $5. Three plus four, so that will be seven. At $5 a piece is $35. 35. And the last one, is honey pot savings. This is a big one. This is $40 per symbol. At the end of the year, you'll have $2,080. So because this one is such a high amount, I'm not gonna roll the dice. I'm gonna go ahead and do 
two of them for $80. Just enough tens, so that worked out perfect. I'm not gonna count these today, I'm just gonna put them away. And if you're a low budgeter and you wanna try out some of these games, I think the best thing to do is to pick which one you like the best and adjust the amounts to fit your budget and start saving. Let's go ahead and finish out Welcome Gnome. Again, there is just a little bit left to do. I'm going to add all together what's left. If there's a little acorn in the corner, I have to double that amount. So let me add these up. I owe $53 to finish out Welcome Gnome. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 35, 50. 1, 2, and 3. 53. And let's see what I have all together. And the good news is this is a, another completed savings challenge. So all of this money will be going into my month ahead envelope. Total save for Welcome Gnome, 20, 40, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100, and 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 120 dollars going into month ahead. Yes, I love it. Okay, so for Welcome Gnome, I would consider Welcome Gnome a fairly low budget game already. April kept the amounts very low, which I love. If you wanted to keep it even more low budget, only do the acorns when you can afford it or put an IOU if you land on one and pay next week. Okay, you guys, we're up to five Busy Bee cards again. One, two, three, four, and five. And we're gonna save for me the first time. So let's add them up. We've got a Honey Money for $4. We've got You Bet Your Bee. Bet any amount you wish and choose a number one through six. If you roll your number, I save the bet. If I lose, I place my bet into savings or my emergency fund. So I think I'm going to roll a five and I lose. I rolled a three. So this would go into my savings or emergency fund. So let's add $3. Next is spelling bee. We're going to roll the dice again. We got number two. This one is something that begins with the letter F. I'm gonna say fun, we're having fun, right? So that's $3, we'll add that in. Another spelling bee card, number one, something you wear. I'm gonna say shoes, that's five. And snacks, the last thing I ate was lunch and that is worth $4. So I owe $19. Five, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. I'm gonna put this to the side. And we're gonna pull five cards for our low budgeters. One, two, three, four, five. And we're gonna add them up again. Today is the weekend, it's your choice. I'll say a dollar. Vitamin B, today was very warm. I would say it was definitely 80 degrees. That's $3. Honey money for two. Bear of a debt. This is where I roll as many dice as I want and save the amount. I'm just going to do one. And I got one. And we've got honey money for five. I'm going to add the two numbers together and save three. $3. Okay, we're going to breeze through these other games that are the same idea. They have symbols that are worth a certain amount and you save that amount. I'm going to roll my dice. So I would save 18 up here at the top. They're worth $3 a piece. Let's roll again. $5 for each pumpkin. I would save one for five. And here at the bottom, a dollar per candy and I've got four. So I would save $4 there. So I have a total of 18, five and four for $27. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 26, 27. Next is Happy Harvest. Let's roll the dice and see. These are worth $5 a piece. I got two, so that is $10 for Happy Harvest. 
Next is Squirrel Away. Same thing. I'm going to make them worth $5 a piece. And I got two for $10 going into Squirrel Away. Okay, same games as a low budgeter. This one, I would only do one section per week. I would start up here with the one or three dollars each flower and I would choose one or three dollars. Today I'm gonna go ahead and choose three is what I would put away for a little boo. Happy Harvest, these are worth $5 a piece. I would either save one per week if that's what I could afford or I would cut that amount in half and save $2.50 and color half of a symbol then I would know that next week I would need to put the other 250 in to complete that one. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and put five in. And for Squirrel Away, one, three, or five, I would stick with one. I would color five of them for $5. Okay, Potion Pool. This is my new favorite game. I love it. You get to use your playing cards to play. So let's get these out. Each card is worth a different amount, one, two, or three dollars, and then you add whatever suit it was to make the total. I'm gonna get my calculator out because I'm gonna go quite a few times. We have an eight of clubs. Eights are worth two, clubs are worth five. Let's go again. Nine of clubs. Nine is worth two, club is worth five. Jack of clubs. I think this happened last week. I just kept getting clubs. Face cards are worth three. Clubs are worth five. Okay, something different finally. A jack of spades. Spades are worth three. Face cards are worth three. Let's keep going. Seven of diamonds. Diamonds are worth two. A seven is worth two. King of clubs. Face card, three. Club, Five. I'm going to go two more times. Eight of hearts. Hearts are worth one. Eight is worth two. And the last time, queen of diamonds. Queens are worth three. Diamonds are worth two. I'm up to $48. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48. Going into Potion Pool. I'm going to write down over here the symbols that I need to color. And I ended up with four clubs, two diamonds, one heart, and one spade. Okay, now we're going to play this as a low budgeter. I'm going to leave these amounts at the top, the one, two, and three. But I'm going to change these to 25, 50, 75 cents, and one dollar. And we're going to pull two cards, a nine of diamonds. So I would save $3 for that. And for the nine of spades, I would save $2.25 for that. So that is $5.25 total for Potion Pool. Let's do no Match. I love this game. It comes with this little bag that has match cards in it. Let's mix these up. Okay, so in my comments last week, I had someone suggest if I did not get a match to make myself pay a dollar. And I really like that idea. So I'm gonna do that today. So we've got gummy bears and a ring pop. I owe a dollar. Lollipop and the gumballs, another dollar. Those are worth $1. Oh, where was that ring pop? Was it here? No, <laughs> I have to pay a dollar. Okay, um, where was that ring pop? I feel like it was right here. No, the lollipop. Oh my gosh, you guys, I feel like I'm doing so bad. Is it here? No. Oh my goodness. I'm not doing well today on Gnome Match. Okay, so this one, if I got that wrong, I definitely need to give up, right? Okay, so there's 10 for that one. Let's see what's under here. 
We haven't seen that one yet, so let's try this. Okay, that's perfect. Five bucks for the candy. And let's see what's under here. Oh, there's that ring pop again. <laughs> yes, okay. I got it that time. That's worth $3. Three. And I don't know if I've picked that one yet. I have not. Um, let's see, this one? Yes, and that is any amount. I'm going to say 20 20 And the last one, roll the dice and save that amount. And I got two. Two dollars. Going in today, I have 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45 dollars. Okay, that's definitely the high roller way to, to play no match. And let's see how a low budgeter could play. So if I was a low budgeter, I would just pull one or two matches, however many I could afford, instead of completing the entire game like I do. We have a young lady budgeter named Fafi, and she plays this on her channel, and she just plays until she gets one match, which is perfect. Okay, we're gonna move on to Sunken Treasure. This is another one of my favorite games. And this one, you roll the dice and you save based on the number that you roll. So let's see what I'm talking about. Okay, so I rolled a two, which means I'm going to save quarters. So I'm gonna pick one of these treasure chests and I'm gonna go with the highest one, which means I'm gonna save nine quarters and that is $2.25. So we'll mark off the nine and we'll roll again. Okay, this time I rolled a four, which means I'm saving dollars and I'm gonna go ahead and say $8. So let's mark off the eight. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and roll two more times and complete this game. Three is also worth dollars. We'll go with the seven, which means we're down to the one. Let's see what I'm saving. Four is one dollar. So I'm up to 18.25 and I've completed the game. So let's add 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18 dollars. I'm gonna round up to 19 dollars and let's see what I've got total. This is gonna go into my Month ahead, total I have 50, 70, 90, 100, and 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. 121 more dollars going into my month ahead. Now, if you are a lower budgeter and you wanted to play this game, which I definitely would, I would just make all of it quarters, but do it like 25 cents, 50 cents, and 75 cents. So let's try that out. And we'll do the one and the seven that's left. Okay, so I rolled one, which means it's 25 cents. And I'm going to go with the seven. So 25 cents times seven is $1.75. And let's see what we're going to save for our number one chest. Another quarter. So I would save a total of $2 as a low budgeter for this game. We are officially down to three games to finish out today's video, and then we will move on to Hello Honey. Let's go ahead and do Card Castle. This game was crazy last week. I saved a ton of money. I ended up getting the four corners twice, which is very hard to get on this game. So I was super excited about that. These are the amounts for each one, so I'm gonna keep this to the side because I do forget, we need our bingo chips. And I typically continue to play until I run out. So let's see how far I get today. Nine of diamonds. Nine of spades. Ace of clubs. Eight of spades, nine of hearts. Okay, so we have a horizontal line here and those are worth $10. Let's 
keep going. Eight of clubs. We have another horizontal line. Another 10. Another club. Okay, so this one gives us a diagonal line. Those are worth one. Ace of diamonds. Put that down there. Ten of hearts. Seven of hearts. Five of diamonds. Jack of clubs. Okay, we'll put it down here, and that gives us a vertical. Those are worth five. I've got two more chips. King of clubs. Okay, so that gives us the vertical and the horizontal. So that's worth 15. And I also noticed, I'm not sure when I missed it, but I've got the four corners again, which is worth 20. Here's tw 21s. I don't know when I got that, but I did, and I missed it somehow. I don't know how I always miss those. Okay, so I have one more chip, Queen of Diamonds, and that gives us another vertical for another five. Okay, I'm all out of chips, but you know we gotta play again to show our low budgeters how they can play Card Castle. So let's see what I saved first and get this out of the way. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 50, 60, 61, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 66 dollars. Let's mix these up just a little bit. Now if I was a lower budgeter and I really wanted to play this game, for a long time, because it is a little addicting, I would do 25, 50, 75 cents, and one dollar. Let's get our calculator out and start playing. Eight of diamonds. Ace of hearts. Four of diamonds. Three of hearts. Six of hearts. Okay, so right there we have a vertical line and we've made those 75 cents. Four of hearts. Another vertical for 75 cents. Queen of hearts. Lots of hearts. Six of spades. Two of spades. Six of diamonds, six of clubs. Okay, so there is a diagonal that's worth 25 cents. 10 of spades, jack of hearts. Okay, so this one is giving us a couple things. It's giving us the vertical, it's giving us the horizontal and the vertical. And we made those 50 cents and 75 cents. And we've got one more chip for a two of hearts. We'll put that there. And a low budgeter got to play all that time with Card Castle for three bucks. I love it. One, two, three dollars. You can absolutely stick with any budget and still play any savings challenge you want. Okay, next is Strawberry Picnic, and this one is a spin on the 100 envelope challenge, except it only goes to the number 20, which is great. So when you're all done, you'll save $210. And this game also comes with a little bag of goodies. And these are tiles. So I'm gonna pull three of them for myself. I have the four, the 18, and the 15. That's worth $37. And I'm just gonna mark this little bear here so that I know later on which ones to color. 
And let's get our $37. $37 going into Strawberry Picnic. I'm going to have to uh, swap these bills out later. And if you were a lower budgeter and you wanted to play Strawberry Picnic, you could either challenge yourself to go ahead and make the 20 the highest one that you would save, or if that's still just a little too high for you, you could add these numbers together. You could do all the way to 10, but then start over. 1 plus 1 is 2, 2 plus 1 is 3, and so on. So with that in mind, let's pull one of these for our low budgeter, and we got the number 2. Two bucks for strawberry picnic. Okay, 100 honeys. Obviously, it is just like strawberry picnic, except it goes all the way to 100. So I'm going to see what I've got left over here. There's 20, 29. So the 29 is still open. I'm gonna go ahead and color that in today and save the $29 into my 100 envelope challenge. Okay, I traded out 20 of those ones for a $20 bill with another one of the games. And here is number 29. I don't wanna break the envelope by shoving that in there, so I'm just gonna rubber band it. And we'll place it back in. Okay, I've got the 29 colored in. And just like I had mentioned on the other game, you could just add the numbers together. For 54, you would add 5 plus 4 and save 9. For 76, just add 7 plus 6 for 13. There are a ton of different ways you can do the 100 envelope challenge to make this one work for you. Let's see how much is going into my month ahead. Okay, I have 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 150, 60, 70, 80, 85, 90, 95, 200, and 280, 290, 300, and 10. $310 is going into my month ahead. I am very excited about that. The money that we saved over here on the side for the Busy Bee cards, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 39. I do have open. I'm going to put this in my 100 honeys. Okay, you guys, we did it. We went through every savings challenge that I have. The money seemed to work out perfectly. That was like it was meant to be. I still can't believe that. Now it's time to play Hello Honey. We are doing Legends of the Flip today. This is going to make it to where everybody's going to save today and you're going to save based on your budget. So let's see what we're doing. The first thing we're going to do is flip some cards. I'm going to move this out of the way, and here's what we're going to do. I'm going to flip a card, and then I'm going to guess whether the next card is higher or lower than this card. So I have a jack of hearts. If you get it right, it's worth $1. If you get it wrong, it's worth $3. Here we go. I think the next card is going to be lower, and it is, so that's $1. I think this is going to be lower. It is, that's another dollar. I think this will be higher, and it is. So that's another dollar. So, so far, I'm up to three dollars. Make sure you keep track of what you are up to. Next, we're going to flip a coin. We're gonna call it. If you're right, it's worth two dollars. If you're wrong, it's worth five dollars. Okay, you ready? I think I'm gonna flip heads. And I am wrong. So that is worth $5. Okay, we're gonna go back to these cards. I'm gonna mix them up. 
and we are going to, we're basically going to be playing card sharks. I do love this game. We've played it before and we're going to go until I bust. Each card until I bust is worth $1. A nine of spades. I think the card is going to be lower. It is. I think it's going to be lower. No. Okay, so I owe $3. I'm going to do this again. King. I think it's going to be lower. It is. It's an eight. I think it's going to be lower. No. Okay, so I owe three and three for another six. And we're going to flip this coin one more time. If I'm right, it's $2. If I'm wrong, it's 5 I think I'm going to get a tails. And I'm wrong. I have heads. So that's another $5. I'm up to $19 that I owe Hello Honey today. This is actually from last week. I did not have a chance to add up your answers yet. So I'm going to go ahead over here and put 19 And again, as you can see... I'm out of money and I can't pay Hello Honey. So I'll pay this next week. And no, we're not gonna do a bonus round today. I think this is the longest video I have ever made, but I feel like it was worth it. I really wanted to show you guys that any savings challenge can be played on any budget. So I hope it gave you some ideas and check out my bill swap video from yesterday. Keep watching Two Sister Beasts.